This is the first time I've shown my full face on camera since not having a haircut in over a year. And no matter how I comb it or wash it, I cannot keep it from looking like Doc Brown. All right, I got a question about the finger picking on a strat and the middle pickup getting in the way. And I'm gonna show you my hands up close from a few, few different angles. Basically the purest answer and the materialism answer is don't do it, play another guitar. If you need to, because if it's the only guitar you have or just one you're really comfortable with and you don't wanna switch guitars and you must make this work and you're having trouble with that middle pickup being in the way, there should be some ways of working with what you have, but it's, it'll be working with what you have more than the ideal situation. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you my hands from a few different angles. Every set of hands is going to be different. Having said that, the issue here with the middle pickup, if you just see my, my right hand from the front, you're gonna see something like a... What's going on there is that my hand is positioned so that the index is basically in front of the middle pickup. And I have the palm muting the bass. And my hand positioning is such that my index is in front of the middle pickup. My middle and my third fingers are right about behind it. So I'll go ahead and show you that up close now, but I want you to see the front of the hand, just what it looks like if you were in the same room looking at me straight forward. Now we'll go ahead and look straight down the guitar and you can actually see angles of contact and points of contact because that's the other thing you got to take into account, as well as pickup height. If you were to look straight at the Strat, you would see this middle pickup has two height adjustment screws and mine are adjusted where they sound best. You don't adjust pickups where it's convenient for your hands, although functionally you have to be able to play the guitar. But I would never recommend just lowering a pickup because your fingers are in the way. I'd say do this on another guitar. But again, we're going back to what if you need to? What if you don't have another guitar or you just don't want to switch guitars or whatever? So if this guy is way up right on the strings, you're gonna get several major problems. Not the least of which is that it's gonna start wrecking your intonation. They call it stratitis, with the magnetism interacting with the string. But beyond that, um, pickups just, they sound different depending on, on the height and where they're adjusted at. And I do not, I'm not telling anybody to do this themselves. Go find a, a really good carrying guitar tech that you like and develop a relationship with them and you know, get somebody to, to really make your guitar sing. But not everybody does that, not everybody has those opportunities or, or those resources. These can be adjusted. So you know, I wouldn't go in and start, unless you know what you're doing, don't go in and start doing any major surgery on the guitar, uh, unless you know what you're doing. I'm not gonna tell you to do that because I don't, I don't do that stuff myself. Yeah, you could just mess with the pick up a height adjustment and that's the most I'll tell you to do. I'm not gonna tell you to take the pick guard off and start desoldering things and take the whole pick up out or anything. But anyhow, the main thing is my pickups are adjusted so it's angled slightly upwards. The treble side is a little bit higher than the bass side and as they should be. And it's where they sound good and past that, you gotta consider that if the pickup is right up against the strings, of course your finger's gonna go right onto that middle pickup if you're, if you're doing any kind of finger picking. So the first thing you might look at is your pickup height. Now we'll go ahead and look at this from a more usable angle with how it's interacting with my hands and how I'm, how I'm navigating this. My wrist rotates. So if the bass is muted, and let's just assume we're talking about like old Chet stuff where you want the bass muted right now and the palm is muting around the bridge. If it's something like on say CC, which I'm not even thinking about, but my wrist will rotate forwards and the index clears the pickup. So.
and occasionally I'll use my middle finger because I tend to play a lot with thumb, index, middle. Unless I need something with the third finger, I tend to not use it. And when I do, it's the more, um, the more delicate kind of acoustic kind of flowing stuff where the bass isn't muted as much. I mean, maybe like stuff like Waltz for the Lonely and Vincent and so on and so forth. But just playing old Chet stuff, it tends to be these three fingers, thumb, index, middle for me. So if I'm rotated forward, my index is going to clear the, the middle pickup. No problem. No problem. No problem at all. And the middle is going to be a little bit over it. But check out the angle of contact and also check out the depth. So you can, just like with a straight pick, you can attack the string right on it or you can like really dig in. Well, if you really dig in right over that middle pickup, of course you're gonna be hitting it and have all kinds of problems. I don't dig in that much. I, I tend to, I mean, but this gets back into touch. This is not like in order to avoid hitting a pickup. This is because I sit around and I practice a lot without an amplifier on, because if you can make a guitar sing without an amplifier on, then the amplifier will only do that much more once you turn it on. So it's, it's all about getting the note to respond the way you want. And unless you're playing other kinds of music, which, which have a little bit more use for a really heavy touch sometimes, generally speaking, the note's gonna sing a lot more when you're not flogging the guitar. I mean, the difference between that and that, unless you consciously want to pop the note, it's a pretty big difference. Uh, even like in, in the in the attack of the note, but also in the decay of the note. I can hear overtones in there, I can hear all the stuff I like, as opposed to... You, you hit the string too hard, all kinds of problems, including making the note go sharp happen. So I'm not digging in very much. I mean, even over the middle finger... I'm clearing the pickup because because I'm not getting much depth on the string. Now, that's with the with the wrist rotated slightly forward. What happens like if the wrist is back a ways? Like I don't know, like if I was to do a See there, my my index is right on the back edge of the pickup, and the and the middle finger is slightly behind the middle pickup. So the wrist is doing like this. And it just kind of depends on the technique that's called for. Something like on the intro to Swedish Rhapsody. You don't want the muted bass. It's, it's not supposed to be that. So little changes in the right hand will impact things a lot. All of this is very subtle, delicate kind of stuff. But the big thing is pickup height and then not digging that far into the string. So...
I don't I don't prefer playing that stuff on this guitar, but but I'm not having any real major issues with jamming into the pickup and not being able to get my fingers free and losing time and rhythm and all that stuff. So that's what you're trying to avoid. The other the other thing that may bear mention is that if you look at the position between my index and my middle fingers, they are they are separated just a little bit. So they're not like that. They're they're separated just enough to where there's enough of a recess. Uh, that's the wrong word, but uh, it's it's clearing the pickup. So I'm not trying to get my hand like if you had a shorter set of fingers, you're not trying to get everything straight. In which case, you could also be hitting. You're not trying to get like that. You you know, there's that that slight rotation in the wrist is accomplishing a lot. So The other thing that, that bears mention is the positioning of your elbow. So sometimes just by raising the elbow, if, if my elbow is further down, it's going to take my hands with it. And then I'm right over that pickup. When my elbow comes up a bit, it slides my hand with it and now... I'm clearing that pickup. You see what happened? Elbow comes down, my wrist rotates. Elbow comes up, fingers are clearing now. I got my thumb pick on the front, in front of the middle, and my finger is behind it. So it's, it's all stuff like that. And you know, when there's a will, there's a way. You can make this work.